they won't protect their brand. And mm -hmm. it's like you said, the other side yeah. that uses our <laughs> content. We know what we mean by that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you kind of both sound like you're coming from, can I say, meager beginnings um, when it comes to having to dive in and yeah. figure it out. So what was growing up like for you? Uh, I'm an Army brat, right? Okay. So my pops was in the Army. I was born in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, and I spent a lot of time moving around because of that. Right. Um, and then post my mom and him split in, we moved to Hawaii with them, moved back to North Carolina, and then moved down to Florida, which is where I settled my roots. Right. Then we moved around for a different reason. Like we moved around at that point because we were getting evicted. We were getting, okay. it was, it was, we were impoverished, right? right? And so we didn't have Facebook to stay connected to people. We didn't have like mm -hmm. social media at all. And so for me, it was really about adaptability because I'm consistently in different environments. Mm -hmm. And if you know anything about the hood, when you're in a different environment, they're going to try you. Where your mama Always. stay, where your grandma stay, all of that. And that was like uh, constant right. uh, for me. But I think it just made me a well-rounded person. And that's something that you can see in like the people that I surround myself mm -hmm. with. Hoodie invited me to connect with you all. Right. And, um, and, and I think it's just those things attribute to the character of the person. Right, they do, yeah. and who you are today. And mm -hmm. I think we had spoken before, and you talked about being bullying, mm -hmm. you know, as a part of growing up, too. But you now have your own business.